Corey Solari in the territory once again, trying to get himself his third pick of the game. Ended receiver. Fourth quarter just underway here in Round Rock. Atascacita with that four. Dominating third quarter. And forced to punt this ball away and just getting it off is McCartney as he had some trouble in the backfield. For a blocked punt. Well, Tascacita will start at the Cedar Ridge 48, their best field. Things not looking so well for Cedar Ridge right now. Six of the 11 opponents, Tascacita has held scoreless this season in the fourth quarter. So you're right, not looking too well at the moment. And here they are trying to add on to that lead and gonna pick up a couple on the play was Taylor getting the handoff from Boyd to the right side. But he is taken down. Actually only got a yard on that, be second and nine. By the same token in the fourth quarter, the Cedar Ridge offense has failed to score six times in 11 games. Definitely not looking good for Cedar Ridge. About a minute has gone by here in the fourth quarter. Quick pass out to Campbell, they do that a lot. Campbell staying on his feet, avoids a couple of tackles and gets very near the first down. It's gonna be about a yard shy of the first down, an eight yard pickup for Tascasita. <laughs> Taylor, gonna get the ball again, go up the middle, but he's gonna be stopped by a wall of Eagles and Raiders just in that big pile. Actually got that playoff before they had time to get the chains in place on the far side. Eagles a four wide receiver set, one in the backfield. It's Taylor. Boyd in the shotgun will look over and point at the center or the lineman for Cedar Ridge jumped a little bit too quick. Tascacita is going to move the ball five more yards. Forty-one to twenty-nine. Tascacita with that lead. Twenty unanswered points. Taylor getting the ball again will be taken down by Robert Andre. Hurry up offense though for Tascacita. Here they go in second and five. Taylor will get the ball. It looks like he's got plenty for the first down. That was actually second and short. Didn't change the scoreboard in time. He takes the ball up to the 20 yard line in Cedar Ridge territory, Tascacita just continuing to chip away. And another run by Taylor. They didn't got very good on first downs here on this drive, but they're still getting first downs. Well, Taylor has put up numbers worthy of the player of the week, and fans, make sure to log on to TexanLive.com each and every week to vote for the Cavenders Player of the Week, then tune in on Friday night into the Houston High School football wrap-up show presented by Texan Drive to see who Courtney Madden showcases as Cavenders Player of the Week on Fox Sports Southwest. Certainly worthy of Player of the Week nomination. Quick throw and now playing defense on that play was Fairman as he's just trying not to get that ball picked off. Pass coming over for Boyd, incomplete. Atascacita 
Gladly will take the incomplete pass on that play. And yeah, they got away with one there. There was a whole group of players there. Anybody could have caught that ball. Fairman did well just to knock it down. Keep the drive alive. Third and nine now they are facing. 9-16 remaining in this ball game. Boyd looking to throw. He's going to lob it up. And his intended target was A.J. Smith, but thrown just a little bit too far ahead of him. It'll be an incomplete pass. And now a fourth down coming up for Atascacita once again. Interesting thought of whether or not you take the three points and make this a, a completely two-score game or go for it and maybe put the game out of reach with the touchdown. Our Texan Live Player of the Week, David Heaton, certainly with the leg to do it, but they're going to go for it. They're going to go to the end zone and looking for Fairman on the far right side, and it's going to be overthrown, an incomplete pass, and a turnover on downs by Atascacita. Cedar Ridge will take over. Nine oh seven remaining in this game. Cedar Ridge is going to take over on their own 19-yard line, trailing 41 to 29. After leading 29 to 21 at the half. Four wide receivers set, one in the backfield. Sharp to the left side, taking it himself. Alric Solari was there to just trip him up, prevent him from going any farther. Sharp does manage to pick up a few yards on the play. Sharp going downfield this time off the fingertips of his intended target. That was Godfrey again. An incomplete pass will now bring up third and six. 8.44 remaining in this game. Sharp rolling out. There's a flag down as he throws it. Almost gets it. Knocked away as the pass is completed. Over to McCartney. Let's see what this flag is, likely a holding. And it is indeed a holding against Cedar Ridge. They'll scratch that complete that completed pass. It'll come back, and now it'll bring up third and very long. About 16 yards is how they is where they will need to get to get the first down. And trailing by two scores, time's kind of ticking down on them right now. 8:33 left in the game. Well, it looks like Solari, the last few series, has been playing kind of a spy on Garrett Sharp, keeping an eye on him which may lead to why he was able to pick him off a couple of times. And False start, man. Moving back five more yards. Well, what do you draw up on third and 22, Mark? <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Gonna have to come up with something though. Back in his own end zone now, about a yard deep. He's gonna go down, it looks like. Was he in the end zone though when he was tackled? Jackson Reed was near that tackle. And forward progress will say he was not in the end zone. About the two yard line is where they will spot the ball. Regardless, fourth down is coming for Cedar Ridge and they got no choice, they gotta kick it away. Yep, you can pretty much figure Atascacita is gonna get good field position here and we'll probably see a lot of Patrick Taylor. Had no doubt about that, try to kill this clock a little bit more. 
But a timeout is going to be taken by Cedar Ridge. There's nine seconds left on the play clock. So obviously this is a strategy kind of thing. So 7.40 left in this ball game, 41-29 game. We'll take a quick break and be right back here on TexanLive.com. Hey, it's Bert. And Jamie. During our summer clearance event, we need to move, move, move our 2015s. And you can count on a big selection. A team dedicated to treating you better and low prices. Like new Sierra Cruz discounted $12,400. That's right, folks. That's over 31%. And we have hundreds to choose from. Or a new Acadia for $2.99 a month. Thanks for making us one of the fastest growing dealerships in the nation. Text them, Buick GMC, located Highway 59 in Will Clayton. Or shop 24-7. Texandrive.com. We, we treat, treat you better. better. That third down play there marked by Jackson Reed almost resulted in the fifth safety of the season. They had Garrett Sharp not fallen forward. That would have been a safety. Wow, that's pretty impressive. McCartney with an even more impressive kick, about 55 yards. Actually, probably longer than that, but an even better return. Getting out of bounds. Kevin Hafford having a heck of a day returning that football. And you were right, Lou. They're going to have great field position despite a great punt from Cedar Ridge. Yeah, well, Hafford got back 28 of those 55 yards on that return and sets up Atascacita with a short field here. And they're just wearing on, I think, on Cedar Ridge at the moment on the defense. That they are, 26 yard line. And you wouldn't be surprised to see Taylor and he does get the ball, like you said, Lou. We'll see a lot of him, but he stays on his feet, runs into Fairman, trying to block for him, kind of slowed him down a little bit. And you know, the only ones that can stop the Tascacita is Tascacita at this point. Yeah, I think they thought the play had stopped because Taylor kind of got st stuck behind his line, his blockers, and then he bounced outside and there, there was nobody there. Another big gain, moves the chains at the 11 yard line. Getting the ball again is Taylor. He's gonna turn his way forward Pick up about three or four yards on the play. 6.45 remaining in this game. Does pick up four, so second and six coming. Play clock is at 20. Another run to the right side. You know, if they're running the ball, I'm kind of surprised they're not letting the play clock tick down a little more. I think just because of the fact that the type of offense they run, rather than may possibly get out of rhythm, they're just staying in the, in the rhythm that they're at at the moment. Could be it, Lou. That's a good point. Going towards the end zone off the fingertips of A.J. Smith. Cannot come up with the grab as he leaps up forward to try to make a jumping catch. It'll go down as an incomplete pass and a third and five. Actually, excuse me, that is fourth down coming up for Tascacita. Looks like they're going to bring on Heat and a kick, and they are. Alric Solari with the hold for Tascacita. So here's the field goal attempt to try to make a 14 point game. Here it is. It's no good. Atascacita cannot put points on the board after fantastic field position, but they still lead 41 to 29 with 5:59 remaining. We'll take a quick break and be right back here on TexanLive.com.
Only one network is big enough to cover the great state of Texas. And only one show travels across the state to get the skinny on high school sports every week, all year long. You want the best in high school sports? Catch High School Spotlight on Fox Sports Southwest. Five forty-five and taking remaining in this fourth quarter. Cedar is taking over, trailing forty-one to twenty-nine. They face a second and three after the seven-yard gain there. They're going to pick up a first down on this one, going out of bounds after making the reception. It was Daniels? Stops the clock at 527. Four wide receivers set, looking to throw, and now turning around and just handing the ball off. Bacar is going to be tackled from behind. Andre Mickles Jr. on the tackle. That was the same play they used to start the drive with a delayed handoff. Very nearly caught him in the backfield that time, but the car made his way for three yards. That'll bring up second and seven. Sharp looking downfield. Double coverage down there in that pass. Lucky for Cedar Ridge. That was not picked off again. Great coverage downfield. Nora Celestine. Incomplete pass makes it third and seven for 51 remaining in the game. Sharp going downfield again, overthrowing his intended target, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, we've seen a number of times tonight where Sharp has tried to go downfield and is just missing the connections with the receivers. And on the opposite side of it, Atascacita has taken the short throws and letting the receivers do the work with the yards after the catch. Yeah, he and D'Armond were not on the same page on that one. Going for it on fourth and seven. Pass complete. Across the 50, first down for Cedar Ridge as they stay alive in this drive after the completed pass to Godfrey. New Sharp could throw. He came in with nearly 2,600 yards on the season. He's going to hand the ball off. Cedar Ridge making a stance right now. A nice run up the middle and staying on his feet, trying to turn him around was Brandon Knight. But Bacar gets great yardage on that one. And he takes it inside the 10 yard line. So Cedar Ridge is going to have a first end goal, going up with a hurry up offense. Bacar in the backfield with Sharp, and he's running into trouble after Jackson Reed is troubling him down now, finally getting tackled out of bounds. Mickles on the tackle. As Cedar Ridge inches closer to the end zone, ball placed between the two and three yard line. Car in the backfield with Sharp again. The car is going to get it. He's not going to make it. Stopped shy. Jackson Reed. Demarius Brooks also involved in that tackle. Third and goal from the two-yard line. Going to the air this time, and that pass almost picked off yet again by Atascacita. Getting over to that play was Brandon Knight. Almost stole that from Jacob Godfrey, or Jaden Godfrey, excuse me. And he'd still be running the other way if he'd have caught that one. Nobody was going to catch him down the sideline. So it's fourth and two, and they're going to want to take a timeout to make sure that they got this right. We'll take a quick break and be right back here on TexanLive.com. If you want a real authentic Texas barbecue, you need to come to Tin Roots. 
We've been doing barbecue for 12 years, and we have just a little mom and pop barbecue joint. Where everything is cooked fresh here. We uh, have brisket, sausage. We'll come back real quick because they're going to go for it. Picked off in the end zone. It's Alric Solari again. He's still on his feet. Now he's tackled from behind. This kid is insane. Third pick of the game for Alric Solari. Nonetheless, third pick of the half for Alex Solari. Even better. He caught that ball five yards deep in the end zone. And instead of taking the knee, we've talked about the aggressiveness of Atascacita this second half. And there was another sign of it right there, five yards deep in the end zone with that ball, and he brings it out over the 25-yard line. Flags all over the place about where that play was stopped. Niall Campbell going to help out the, uh, the referees. Make a nice little stack with their flags for them. They're still talking about this, trying to figure out who the dead ball fouls are on this time. So not only Patrick Taylor could be a Cavenders player of the week, but Alaric Solari could be considered for that as well. No doubt about that. Here's a call. They're going to be offset penalties, whatever the case is. A lot of tensions rising right now. Cedar Ridge knew that they needed that play to try to get back into this game. And after the interception, you know, guys just probably aren't thinking right. And... A lot of a lot of tensions rising in the middle of that field, and I think that's what they're what's happening right now. Yeah, a lot of adrenaline on both sides of the ball there. One out of frustration and one out of just sheer excitement. Well, Atascacita will have the ball on first and ten. And another handoff. Taylor's still in the game. All the starters still in the game. Simon Deareth, Stump, Low, and Cosme on the line. Three minutes and ticking left in this game. Atascacita holding their faith in their hands right now. They can put it away on this drive. Play clock is at five. They get the snap off. Near the first down marker, and they're going to give it to him. James is trying to move a first down for Atascacita. Now we're going to start somewhere here in the next probably 20 seconds or so. We're going to start seeing Cedar Ridge start to use some of their timeouts and try to preserve some of the clock. Yeah, we can definitely start seeing that. I mean, they know they don't have much to work with, but they're going to use what they can. You talked before about a task to see to not running down the play clock. Now that's exactly what they're doing. Yeah, not going to the hurry-up offense anymore. 
Changed their game plan a bit. Running a pistol formation, it looks like, and now whistle's blown. Timeout's going to be called by Atascacita. 2.07 left in this game. Well, as Atascacita inches closer to moving on to next week's game, Houston High School playoffs continue next week, and Texan Live is your home for the postseason. Get your tickets to the state championship games, which will be held at NRG Stadium in Houston by following the UIL link on TexanLive.com. Then follow your team on the road to state at the home for Houston High School sports, TexanLive.com. If Atascacita wins this ball game, they'll be in Baylor next weekend for a 2 p.m. game on Saturday. Still trying to figure out why they would go to Waco, but. Hey, what do I know? 41 to 29 is the score here. Handoff up the middle, Taylor takes it to the 40 yard line. And a timeout will be taken by Cedar Ridge. 41-29 the score once again. 2.02 left in this ball game. We'll take a quick break and be right back here on TexanLive.com. As a Ford employee, I get to give my friends a special deal on cars, trucks, and SUVs. It's friends and neighbors pricing. And for a limited time, we're letting everyone in on this deal. That doesn't happen every day. And you can see the low price at Ford.com. There it is. And that's the low price you'll pay. It's that easy. You don't have to negotiate. It's hassle-free. It's an inside deal. Now for everyone. America's best-selling brand now offers friends and neighbors pricing to everyone on all Ford vehicles, but only for a limited time at your participating Texas Ford dealer. Welcome back into TexanLive.com. Task is seated with a 41-29 lead with 2.02 remaining in this ballgame. I'm Mark M. Johnson. Alongside with me is Lou Rush, and our production engineer is Will Betts. Everybody's made the trip out here to Round Rock, Texas, and the Eagles want to make sure that they're not coming for nothing. Put on quite a performance in the second half, mainly in that third quarter. Boyd taking himself to the left side. Surprisingly, he will step out of bounds as he is tripped on the sideline. Trevor Price forcing him out of bounds. Stopping the clock at 156. Very interesting. He didn't just try to stay in bounds and either try to kill some more time off that clock. Now they face a third down. They need four yards in the pistol. They're going to give it to Taylor. He's going to dive forward. I'm not sure he got it. He did not. About two yards shy of the first down. Fourth down coming. as they call another timeout. So we'll step out and be right back once again here on TexanLive.com. DQ, this is the stop sign of Texas. How does your typical Texas mom stop the afternoon munchies? Oh, well, hungry. With a quick stop at DQ. From great DQ desserts like the blizzard to classic dip cones, shakes, sundaes, and more. Because DQ has something for everybody. For the best treats and eats in Texas, there's only one place to stop. DQ, this is the stop sign of Texas. 145 left in this game. 41-29 is the score. Atascacita facing a fourth and two. They got the punt team on. Trying for one last defensive stand here. 
as the ball will bounce in front of the 20-yard line now, bounce over to the 10. That's going to be taken in between two defenders by Cedar Ridge across the 20, still looking for room, and that is an unbelievable return. Desperation is the key here. Eric Wade making something out of nothing. He grabbed the ball and went in between to a task to see the defenders, but there is a flag down over by the 33-yard line. Yeah, he pretty much did what Devin Hester did in the third quarter that got Atascacita rolling. Picked the ball up on the bounce and made something out of nothing, as you said. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Unbelievable how Atascacita has come back in this game. As we keep saying, 21 to 29 was the score at halftime. Atascacita had a nice drive there at the end. Cedar Ridge almost had themselves a nice drive with under a minute left to put some more points up on the board before the end of the half. And a Hail Mary at the end of the first half was stopped by Atascacita. I mean, it's just a big turn of events here. So it looks like there was that there was a penalty on the play against Cedar Ridge. So scratch that nice return from Mr. Wade, and they will be back on their own seven-yard line with 1:27 remaining in this game. They will need. Get all the way down into that end zone here. Well, you know, there's going to be a few times we see him going over the top now. They have no, no choice. Sharp from his own end zone will throw to the sideline completed. Eric Wade with the reception. Just shy of the first down, out of bounds, stopping the clock at a 120. Sharp, downfield again. He's got another completed pass up the middle. Daniels takes this one across the 30-yard line as they try to hurry up and get back to the line. 110 remaining in the game. Four wide receivers set, one in the backfield. Still looking, now in trouble, will just run forward. A nice play and sliding near the first down. Might be like a half yard shy as the clock continues to tick, 55 seconds. It'll be second and one. Sharp rolls out to the right, a short pass completed. Good for the first down and out of bounds. Pass completed to Daniels. Stopping the clock at 39 seconds. Fighting for their lives is Cedar Ridge. They have 39 seconds. They need 11 points. Interesting play there from Cedar Ridge. Pass completed on the far side, and a little pitch from Eric Wade over to McCartney. And he ladders it right back over to him, and they pick up the first down, and they get out of bounds, stopping the clock at 32 seconds. Interesting play. I've never seen that before. Throw to the outside, complete. Another first down. It looks like they've got... Eric Wade with a reception again. Yeah, it's one of those things where every play in the playbook is available now. Season is on the line. Very true. 25 seconds is left. Sharp with a snap. 
from the 37-yard line. Pass completed up the middle, trying to get out of bounds. And he's going to go to the end zone, and I don't think he quite got out of bounds. He stayed in bounds. 15 seconds left. Uh, they stopped the clock. Great catch by Daniels. Let's see if they start the clock once they get the snap down, or once they get the ball down. They don't. Maybe he did get out of bounds. So here they go. Quick pass out and a touchdown. Grant McCartney with a touchdown reception. And they will need to go for two here. Con they will need to convert that, and they will also need to get an onside kick. We knew we were going to have a good one. First points of the entire second half by Cedar Ridge. I'm a little confused as why they did that. They did not go for two. They went for one. So that makes it 41 to 36. I guess that makes more sense. It's a five-point game. They wouldn't have done them any good. Well, here's the season for Cedar Ridge, an onside kick. Blake Patterson is in to try it for the season. Taken up and corralled by who else? Alric Solari at the 50-yard line. Atascacita will hold on and win this game. Wow, what a second half. Trailing 29, or 20, 29-21 uh, at the half. Atascacita comes out and puts up 20 unanswered points before surrendering that touchdown just a moment ago, but too little too late for Cedar Ridge. And we saw the defense from Atascacita that most teams have seen all season. There is the knee, Atascacita will finish off this game and take a 41 to 36 victory. Last week it was Demarius Brooks' sack along with Jack Spreet that preserved the win. And this week, you know, you got four touchdowns from Patrick Taylor, and then you got Alex Solari with three second half interceptions and then recovers the onside kick to seal the win. Fantastic way for those Eagles to end this game. We'll step out for a moment and be back to wrap this thing up here on TexanLive.com. Download the new Fox Sports Southwest Football Friday app. Connect and get live scores statewide. Find games near you. Plus, get your photos on our Friday night show. This is the one app that can handle high school football in Texas. Hit the App Store and type Football Friday. Friday high school football isn't over till you watch High School Scoreboard Live. Final scores, big plays, plus the TQ Big Game of the Week. Be a part of the most watched high school football show in Texas. Friday on Fox Sports Southwest. Only one network is big enough to cover the great state of Texas. And only one show travels across the state to get the skinny on high school sports every week, all year long. You want the best in high school sports? Catch High School Spotlight on Fox Sports Southwest. Well, as the players shake hands in the middle of the field, Atascacita 
Scores those 20 unanswered points after trailing 29 to 21 at halftime and win this thing 41 to 36. Cedar Ridge getting that late touchdown to make it a little bit more of a respectable score, but the onside kick sealed the deal for Atascacita and they take this one here in Round Rock. You know, the, the numbers said this is the game we would see. Atascacita came in averaging 43 points a game. They put up 41. Cedar Ridge came in averaging 35. They put up 36. You know, we just saw one heck of a football game tonight. That we did, and Atascacita will move on to the regional quarterfinals after a fantastic season they had last year. They wanted to do something bigger this year, and they already have, making it two rounds deeper than they did last year. So the regional quarterfinals, congratulations to Atascacita and Coach Stump, and also a congratulations to Coach Ford and Cedar Ridge on a fantastic season for the Raiders. So from what we've been told, the Tascacita will take on the winner of Rowlett and Skyline at 2 p.m. next Saturday at Baylor. So we'll see how that one ends up. Make sure to keep checking in TexanLive.com. We'll keep you updated as much as we can. Lou, you and I have another one tomorrow. We'll be in Brenham on our way back over to Houston. Yep, we get nationally ranked Lake Travis tomorrow against Spring Westfield from the Houston area, and that should be another one heck of a ball game. Two teams that can put points on the board as well, just like we saw tonight. So we may see another shootout. Yeah, the deeper we get into this playoff, these games are going to get better and better. So that'll about do it here from Round Rock, Texas. I hope you all have enjoyed our live streaming of tonight's game here on TexanLive.com. Again, if you'd like to know more about Texan Live, feel free to check out the rest of the website for incredible highlight videos, archive games, upcoming events, and a whole lot more. You can like our Facebook page, Texan Live. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Texan underscore live. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Texan Live, as well. Once again, your final score from Round Rock, Texas, Atascacita 41 and Cedar Ridge 36. This has been a production of Texan Live and TexanLive.com. For my colleague Lou Rush and our production engineer, Will Betts, I'm Mark M. Johnson saying so long and farewell from Round Rock.